Welcome friends, followers, and fellow book lovers. I'm excited to bring you this new episode where I share with you a book I've recently read. Today's book is Unleashed by Susan Elizabeth. And why did I read this book? Well, instead of having three, I have two reasons. One, it was published by my friend, Mike Fallett at Dream Starters Publishing. There they publish uh, books for entrepreneurs and uh, they have a whole process. Uh, and two is I love leadership and personal growth books, which you guys already know. Uh, so that's not a surprise that I'd be reading uh, a book uh, in that regard. So uh, three leadership principles from Susan's life is be authentic to yourself. And uh, for those of you that do know me, you know that this is something that's huge, huge for me. Um, is to be authentically yourself, to be who you are, and to live in that life. Uh, number two is lead yourself towards your goals and dreams. Be willing to make the changes, make the adaptations, cut out things, add things, whatever is necessary to, to move towards those things that you really want. Number three is live in the moment and savor it. And I really enjoyed her story on this part because she really talks about how in her own life, she has really strived to live in the moment, to savor those things. And uh, I don't want to tell you where that comes from because I'm hoping that you'll read the book and get her take on that and her experience in, in that regard. So I did want to share with you guys a couple quotes like I normally do uh, from leadership books or books on personal growth is first she says i choose showing up for for and designing my own life when i then i wait and look for the adventure life lays out before me i play i celebrate i trust in the process from the universe that it provides to support me along my journey and path of my creation and that's a longer winded way to say that um the goals don't change that she keeps those goals, but the way to get there may change. And she really, really expresses in her book how she's done that and how she's made a life that's her dream life. And if you're an entrepreneur, that's probably something right up your alley, like it is for me, is creating that dream life that you want. Quote number two. I realized that the true power comes from being authentic by accepting who I truly was and sourcing from within me and that I am enough. Uh, that's one of the things that, that I really struggle with too is knowing that I'm enough. Where I'm at right now, I'm enough. Now I can grow, I can continue to change and get better, but to first begin and start enjoying life it starts now. It starts today. There, there's no, no secret except to enjoy the moments. And one of the things that I've had to do is, is take that technology, take that technology and put it aside. At meal times, if I'm out to dinner with a group of people or I'm at a certain event, um, it's going to be put away and I'm going to be on the moment in the moment and enjoy it. Now, sometimes being in the moment means you're taking notes because the event you're at and, you know, but be there, own it. So number three, number three is I learned that it is okay to make mistakes. Failure is just a part of success. Failure is part of the learning experience. One who dares will occasionally fail, but will learn and grow further um one of the entrepreneurial sayings which i'm sure you guys have heard and if you haven't heard it's new for you it's either i learn or i win and, and that really is to shift the mindset from the aspects of win or lose it's win or learn because hopefully i'm a little yanni today uh, hopefully what happens is when you um, when you are going through that process and you do have a failure, 
that you recognize that you're not the failure, that this experience is a failure. And then how do I learn from it? How do I take from that experience something that helps me move forward? Quote number five, don't get me wrong. Inviting change in your life can be extremely challenging at times, which is why not many people lovingly do that. But if you go through that storm, you will soon discover it was well worth it, but only after you look back. If we do not invite change, take control of it, and be in the driver's seat, change will let by itself into our lives, take control, and we will lose control. And I mean, that was number four. No, that was number four, not number five. Um, okay. Change. I, I, I tell people that change is one of the constants, that either you change or things will change on you, and then you'll have to deal with that. And I have found that in my own life, that as I pursue change, and as I invite it in, as Susan talks about here in this quote, that it pays off. excuse me, that it pays off that that change, embracing it, being part of that, completely pays off and brings greater value into my life. All right, now quote number five, that was quote number four. Courage is the ability to move forward even when you're afraid. And I, I gotta say that that is absolutely true. Being able to, to move forward in faith with hope towards your goals is huge it's huge because what it, it does is it allows you to walk into that place with fear and go after that goal uh, it allows you to help conquer those fears it allows you to help overcome uh some of those things um a really good example of someone um exercising courage and going over their fears going after the fears is, is will smith a few years ago he uh, learned to skydive. He's bungee jumped out of a helicopter over the Grand Canyon. Um, bungee jumped. Yeah, that's what I said. Just to face that fear of um, heights and to deal with that in his own mind. Um, which I think it's a fantastic way to do it. Excuse me. All right. Number six. This is I trust the universe and know life happens for me, not to me. I know there is a divine plan and that it will work out for my highest good. Whatever is happening is happening for me and reminds me that I have the support and tools to deal with it. Um, I think I'm, you guys have heard me talk about my friend uh, uh, Kenyon Robson, who she has, she, that's the first place I heard that life happens for me, not to me. The events that, are these, that I have, these struggles that I faced were for me, not to me. And that becomes a real powerful way to shift our paradigm uh, in the way that we view, we view things. Because it, what it does is it allows you and I to take control of those things and learn to find the power and strength in those things for us. Um, a good example of that is when I was, I think like nine or 10 years old, I got hit by a car and we were living in Germany. Excuse me. What that means is that I ended up going to a German hospital for a week while I was in a cast because um, there was not an American hospital there, and the American clinic was not really suited to to take care of me. Uh, and so my parents opted for the German hospital. Uh, no one spoke English, and while there are times that I was afraid, mostly because I had no one to talk to. Uh, the one nurse that worked nights, and I mean like third shift, uh, she did speak English, but I was asleep most of the time. Every now and then I'd wake up and she would, you know, I'd call her because I'd need a bedpan or something. Um, but uh, yeah, she was, she was really, that nurse was cool. But that experience taught me that I can handle challenges um, even at a young age and 
to be able to face that and accept that, hey, this is just part of life and I need to go ahead and roll with it. So, all right, my friends, I recommend you go out and pick up uh, Unleashed by Susan Elizabeth. It is a really good read. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Now, guys, thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and share. If you're looking for someone to help you level up your leadership and people skills, that's what I do at Turning Leaf Solutions. You can connect with me at turningleafs.com and you can get it. You can book a free consultation there. Um, I help people, coach people, and uh, I love it. I absolutely love helping people and seeing them grow. Um, it's one of the greatest joys I have in life. All right, my friends, take care. Uh, go out and make it a great day. Go out and make it a great week.